What's up guys? Today we're going to be reviewing the VR Box 2 2.0. Uh, we got this from Ewan Direct at Amazon.com for 20 bucks, And I have to say for $20, um, you definitely can't go wrong with this. Um, let's get right into it. Um, the VR Box uh, had its first version. Um, it was very similar to this, but I'll tell you what the difference is with the 2.0. Uh, the big difference, the main difference with the 2.0 is that it has the sliding uh, front door here and um, it makes it easy for you to, in case you're going to use augmented uh, reality apps or anything like that. So th that's the main difference of the of the 2.0. Um, uh, I'll tell you what, it's very, very good quality. It's it's sturdy plastic it's made out of very sturdy plastic um, and it has a very great it has a good design as far as um, they curved it nice uh, very very comfortable very light even even with the device in um, it, it's very light and um, as you can see here they have um, memory foam uh, padding and it's very very comfortable some of the other ones that I've seen have like a leatherette kind of or a vinyl um, uh, padding and after a while that starts to stick to your face and, and stuff like that it gets really hot this one stays cool even wearing it for a long period of time which which I liked a lot um, the three-point uh, head harness or straps um, is really sturdy they're velcro so you can you know change the you know in case you have a larger head or whatever you want to change it and this is like a, a very soft vinyl uh, which I found is very comfortable also so all in all the design on this is really really good um, on the top here you have your focusing you know um, up and down left and right um, and the way the device goes in there's a sliding door here, and we're using it on the Samsung uh, 6, and um, it sits in the holder. There's a spring-loaded holder here um, that holds your device down, um, and it holds it really, really sturdy. I mean, you can move it around. It doesn't move. I know some of the other ones, if you tilt it a lot, it slides around and everything, but this one holds it really steady. Uh, it's, it's really, really good. Um, they give you little foam bumpers to put in here, down in the bottom, um, and you have to set them up a little strategically to make sure that when you do place this in, you put the bumpers so that wherever your buttons are on your device, it isn't pressing on the plastic, so this way you're not turning your, your device on and off or turning the volume up and down or whatever. Um, it took about two seconds to do. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, uh, let's see. And it just slides in. After you get it all set, it slides right in. And uh, I'll tell you what, the clarity is is really really good. The lenses are are resin, uh, resin. Uh, excuse me, resin uh, lenses, and really really clear. I mean, you know, it gives you a really good. I know you're not gonna see the, but uh, definitely a clear picture. And I, I tell you, for the money, it was it, it's a really, really good buy. It also came with um, a Bluetooth controller. And um, we tried this Bluetooth controller on quite a few things. And it worked flawlessly. It synced up really nice. Um, it's ergonomically designed. It fits nice in your hand. I mean, it, for like I said, for $20, I mean, you can't go wrong with it. Uh, we really like them a lot. Uh, so if you're in the market for VR glasses, I mean, there are more expensive ones out there. I mean, some of them I've seen go all the way up to, you know, especially for uh, cell phones or whatever, you can spend up to, upwards to $300, $400, uh, sometimes even more, uh, depending on the glasses. But for $20, uh, you definitely can't go wrong. So if you're in the market, the VR Box 2.0, um, go pick them up. Like I said, we got ours at uh, UN Direct, E W I N Direct. Uh, I'll put a link uh, down at the bottom of this of the video. Um, like I said, I think it was twenty dollars, and uh, you definitely can't go wrong for the price. So if you're in the market, grab yourself a pair of these. Uh, you'll be happy you did. All right. So until the next review. All right, guys.
See you.